Hello everybody, this is Ravindran Dastikop. I welcome you all for my 4 minute cloud computing learning session. In this session, you will be learning about Google App Engine. Hello everybody, welcome back to my 1 minute cloud computing learning sessions. In today's session, we will be talking about Google App Engine. Google App Engine is a platform as a service offering that lets you to build and run applications on Google infrastructure. What it means that you can develop a cloud service and you can host it on Google infrastructure. This infrastructure is actually mean the data center. App Engine applications are easy to build, easy to maintain and easy to scale. What it actually means that the building complexity is very simple. You can actually start using Google App Engine and start developing simple application and then go on to a sophisticated application. And the maintenance is also easy and easy to scale. That means if your application becomes popular, it can automatically scale because Google will ensure that. With App Engine, there are no servers you have to maintain. That means you don't have to worry about the hardware. It is given by the data center of Google. And you can simply upload your application and ready to go. So this, the moment application is ready, it is available for the users. Hello everybody. This is Ravindran Dastikop welcoming you all for my one minute cloud computing learning sessions. In this session, I'll be talking about Google App Engine and its support to different languages. Google App Engine is very accommodative and it is very developer friendly. To, in keeping view of the requirements of developer, it supports couple of languages. Google App Engine supports app, uh, applications written in variety of programming languages. It includes Java, Python, PHP and Go. Java, using App Engine's Java runtime environment, you can build your applications using standard Java technologies. Using path, Python also it is support. App Engine features a fast Python interpreter and a standard Python libraries. It also supports PHP. App Engine uses Google's cloud platform services under the hood when you call standard PHP functions. Go is also supported by Google App Engine. App Engine features a Go runtime environment that runs natively on compiled Go code. Hello everybody, this is Ravinder Dastikop once again welcoming you all for my one minute cloud computing learning session. In today's session, I'll be talking about Google App Engine with reference to its features. Google App Engine makes it easy to build and deploy an application that runs reliably even under heavy load and with large amounts of data. It includes the following features, persistent storage with queries, sorting and transactions, automatic scaling and load balancing, asynchronous task queues for performing tasks outside the scope of the request, scheduled tasks for, for triggering events at specified terms and regular intervals, integration with other Google API services. Let me explain. So Google App Engine applications are capable of considering and actually of beating any amount of load and persistent storage. The content of the transactions is stored for future reference. Automatic scaling. If there is a popularity increased for your given application, it can actually take any amount of load. That means it can handle thousand users, million users or even more. Okay. Asynchronous task queries that means if there is a task which doesn't need the attention and resources of a google app engine it is done asynchronously hello everybody this is ravinder dastikop once again welcoming you for my one minute cloud computing learning video sessions in today's session we'll be talking about google app engine with reference to its security features applications in google app engine run in a secure sandboxed environment allowing application units to distribute requests across multiple servers and scaling uh, servers to meet traffic demands. Let me explain. See, the application which is running on a Google App Engine actually has a secured environment and it is sandboxed. By that sandbox, what we mean is actually the application is not affected by or actually mm, I mean touched by other applications. Your application runs within own secure, uh, reliable environment that is independent of the hardware operating system or physical location of the server. So it's also protected from the physical layer or the physical machine which on which it is being run. So this kind of a security actually ensure that applications are always reliable, the data and all uh, other related resources are protected. 